The eternal question that we get all the time, do I want to buy a brand new or do I want to buy a resale? My name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor here with Sun Ottawa. And if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos about this. And hit the like if you like the video. That way the algorithm can help us out, serve people like yourself. So a new build versus resale. I'm going to give you the pros and cons for both. So we'll start off with the new build. Some of the pros that we see all the time with the new build, one is you've got that seven year warranty, the carry on warranty that comes with it. The first year is all inclusive. The second, third, fourth, and what have you, some of the things will fall off, but it gives you that comfortable feeling that your home is going to be guaranteed for some time. Uh, and a lot of people like that. Uh, it's, it's giving them that sort of you know, peace of mind that everything is going to be okay. Number two, it's the fact that it's energy efficient. A lot of the new builds have a lot of new codes coming in that will make it a lot more energy efficient. So you're spending a lot less on your heating costs, your electricity, if you will, and it just makes it a little bit easier to live. Now, with that being said, it comes up at a premium. New build has a little bit more of a premium than the resale because obviously it's a brand new, just like buying a brand new car, it's always going to be at the top end versus a resale for the same exact house, even if it's a year old. The last one is the smart home feature. So a lot of the new homes are built on what we call smart technology. What that is, it's just the ability to be able to kind of monitor everything in the house. So for example, you'll have your thermostat being monitored by Wi-Fi. You're able to kind of turn the heat on and off anytime you are, uh, whether you're in the house or outside of the house, you'll be able to control it from an app. Uh, another one is being able to control the lighting, uh, turn the lighting off, turning on, all of that cool stuff. And it's really just, again, allowing for a little bit more efficiency for the home. Uh, so smart home, living is one of those new features that a lot of the new homes have that are obviously much better not to say that you can't do that with an old home but it's going to cost you a little bit more this is kind of coming in out of the gate now let's talk a little bit more about the cons of new homes first one is premium pricing and the marketing schemes that the builders have so what a lot of the times will happen is when you go in to buy a brand new home you'll notice that oh they've got a fifty thousand dollar deal for the the, the showroom uh, or a discount on this many if you buy it at a, a certain date. What you really need to understand is that this is the builder's marketing scheme to get you in the door. Those homes, they're always going to be at the top tier. The same exact house, if you're buying that same exact three bedroom, two bath in the neighborhood, and the brand new home that's just, just been built versus one that's been on the market for about a year or so, there obviously will have a little bit of a significant difference and the new home will have a little bit more again because of the warranty and everything else the other con is it's very stressful to build whether it's you're buying it from a builder or you're buying it from a custom builder it's really stressful to kind of just be able to worry about the timelines and what have you a lot of the times you don't end up closing on time uh, so we see it all the time where the builder would for example say hey this is going to be delivered on this date and they're behind by two to three months uh, and you end up as a, the buyer you'll end up kind of paying that extra in uh, whether it's a mortgage uh, or delaying the process, for example, for your rental. So you need to kind of budget for stuff like that. The last one is the smaller lots. A lot of the new homes have issues with smaller lots. Obviously, real estate is becoming more and more expensive. So you're not able to kind of get the premium lot unless you're really jumping in a little bit early in this process. Uh, but they're not the same. Like you don't see the same kind of nice lots that we see in the center of the city like we used to, uh, because obviously these ones are very cookie cutter. They're just out there to be able to sell it for a quick sale. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're looking at brand new homes. Now let's jump in and talk a little bit more about the resale. And we will dig in with the whole pros and cons. So let's start with that. So some of the pros that we see in resale homes or buying resale homes, if you will. Better pricing and obviously the ability to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to take this home and I'm going to deal with it. And you have that ability to negotiate a little bit better because the home is older and sometimes it does need a little bit of updates and you can pick and choose those updates based on your liking and you can adjust it to, based on your liking and you're not having to pay premium pricing because it is a brand new home. Number two, the mature neighborhoods and the mature trees. This is fantastic, especially like if you're looking at, uh, I for myself, for example, I love being in the center of the city um, and I really enjoy those mature trees and you know going on walks and what have you. The ability to be able to kind of get into a neighborhood that's already fully developed, everything is close by, all the amenities are nearby. You've got your grocery stores within walking distance. You have the mature trees that you can walk into the park and what have you. Uh, and you're not having to kind of wait until the pavements are done, the laneways are done, all of that crazy stuff. This is one of the fantastic ways about resale. Another pro that we see 
um, the massive lots and the ability to be able to kind of put things like a pool and what have you in your uh, home uh, with the resale a lot of the times because they are mature lots there are um, lots that have been around for quite some time you are getting some sort of a premium uh, and these lots obviously they're much bigger in space and now you're able to kind of outfit the home with something like a pool or like a sauna or a nice background oasis uh, those are the things that you could do with a, a, an older home versus a brand new home. Not to say that you can't, but you're paying a premium for that new lot because obviously it's a new, situ a new development and what have you. Now let's jump into the cons of buying a resale. Well, number one, utility bills. Your utility bills are going to be very high. Uh, not, it's not to say that this is going to be the case with every single home, but a lot of the times you have outdated windows, you have the insulation that will need to be updated. Uh, you have issues with uh, the structure and that possibly could have leakage and what have you. So all of those things could actually hurt your utility bills. And we will notice a lot of the times they're not necessarily up to your standard. They're not up to the new standards with the energy efficient homes and what have you. So just be careful when you're doing that. Number two, the appliances. A lot of the times you'll end up buying a resale and obviously they're not going to put a brand new appliances in there unless it just so happened that one of those appliances went faulty. And every now and then, you might not be able to find, you'll, you'll find that the appliances are actually mismatched. Uh, and again, it's just because of the age of the home. Um, and these obviously uh, appliances obviously don't have warranties on them. So it's just another thing to think about when you're looking at purchasing a resale. Number three is how well is the home built? Uh, a lot of the times with the uh, resale, um, you know, you'll notice some neighborhoods have these issues more than others. Uh, for example, um, you know, the whole neighborhood is built on clay. You might have a little bit of sinking issues with the uh, foundation. Uh, all the whole neighborhood is built on rock. You might have some issues with uh, fracking. Whenever they're building something new in that neighborhood, you, you will see a shift in, in that foundation. So just things to look out for. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I want to sum it up a little bit. There is really no sort of science on which one you should go if it's a resale or a brand new. Where it makes a difference is all up to you as the buyer. So this is where you hire a consultant or a buyer agent like myself that will sit down with you and kind of go over your needs and wants and break it down to you guys to big, figure out which would be the best option for your situation. With that being said, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can get more videos about this. My name is Fatty and I'm a local realtor here with Sutton, Ottawa.